I'm gone. Four shots of Patron, got me, got me in the zone. Your girl keep asking me to fly out, leave me alone. You need to mind your. You said, like, you're gonna retire? I don't, like, is that something you said out of frustration or is that real, Rock? Like, come on, Rock. After this year, like, seriously? Like, I'm so I'm so underappreciated out here. Like, the shit that I do. Take a little, a nice year off. Mm. Okay. Okay. You gonna just? Uh, but you, you not out, no rock. And well, you just gonna start making albums, doing songs, like what? Like, cause I know you love rapping. I'm be behind the scenes a lot. Okay. I mean, behind the scenes a lot with everything that's going on. As far as going on, world. It's your boy T Man, right back at it, right back for another day of this battle rap. And as y'all know, man, the boy Tate Rock is still talking retirement. I put out a video a couple months ago when I first caught wind that he wasn't happy about the way he been getting treated in battle rap. He feels like he should be way more up the totem pole. People ain't respect him respecting him enough for all of his accomplishments, all the battles he done put in, all the haymakers that that went viral. Everything that he did, he never be discussed as the GOAT. Never. They never be like, yeah, Tay Rock number one or Tay Rock on Mount Rushmore. But if you really take everything in consideration, how many people really been killing the game like Tay Rock? Just answer me that though. Tay Rock been doing this for a minute. For a minute, been solid. 10 toes, ain't been slacking. Ain't been choking. Still don't be getting his respect that he deserved. Now look at y'all. Run, run, the, run the goat up out the game. Now Tay Rock talking about he about to take a year off. Now he did rescind his comment from going from he just about to completely retire to he about to take time off now. Now he about to take a year off. And he don't seem like he too pumped up or excited about getting back in the battle rap for real. After that year up, he just like, man, he about to be behind the scenes. He going to be working with URL, but he about to give it up. He going on a champion of the year run this year. He want to get champion of the year. And I'm pretty sure he's just doing that just to prove a point. Or he probably would have would have hung the boots up, hung the mic up this year. You see what I'm saying? I don't know what y'all expect Tay Rock to do more of, man. He didn't battle everybody. He battling... He battled y'all favorites. He battled, he battling y'all up and coming favorites. He just had a, a classic with Bill Collector going off. The rifle just got unlimited ammunition in it. Y'all gotta start giving Tay Rock his peas, man, because he deserves it though. And I'm not just saying that because he's the top dog in the list of, of my favorite battle rappers of all time. I'm just saying that because, man, listen, if y'all really in the battle rap like y'all say y'all are, quit trying to downplay Tay Rock all the time. And then some people going to come out and say, no, I think Tay Rock get all the respect and everything that he deserves. No, he don't. No, he don't, man. The band been on all these summer madnesses. He be, he be headlining a lot of these events. He going up against killers all the time, no matter who y'all saying going to watch him. He still get out there and he perform. He stay up the park. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. What is Tay Rock doing so wrong? Is it personal stuff? Y'all got personal issues or y'all don't want to give him his props for whatever reason? I don't get it. But now he like he pretty much on a on a trajectory. He, he thinking about retirement. Man, if we lose Tay Rock in battle rap, I'm done. I'm done. I'm going to screen record all day and post on this channel, man. I ain't talking about battle rap no more. Because Tay Rock means so much to the culture, it's ridiculous. Y'all got to start giving him his props. Because once he hang, hang it up, then y'all going to be salty. Y'all going to be wishing that it was somebody that came in the game like a Tay Rock and just constantly keep his foot on the gas, always bring y'all exciting bars, you know what I'm saying? Even if y'all ain't even all the way into the gun bars or like that, like you still gotta respect the craft, still gotta respect the fact that this man be putting in work like he be putting in, man. Without Tay Rock, man, URL would've, would've fell off, in my opinion, plenty of times. Cause when guys like Surf, Calico, Aver, you know, Mook and all these guys ain't over there battling. It ain't really nothing really going on on URL, but a bunch of new guys that's coming up. And, and I'm cool with the up and comers, but the problem with the up and comers is they promotion ain't good. They, they promotion suck. That's a part of this. You can't just be trying to be a battle rapper and then say, hey, I'm going to just come out and rap. 
You got to be able to promote, you know what I'm saying? Keep keep eyes and ears on battle rap. Because if if they not doing that, then ain't the younger kids growing up ain't going to be listening to it because they can't they the people that they relate to don't promote, which would be the younger guys. The old school folks that's in the game, it's a lot of battle rappers that's that's pushing 40 for real. Let's just call it what it is. That's how long they've been out here doing this battle rap. They didn't came in in their 20s and now they pretty much pushing 40. And a lot of these young cats, they ain't relating to it no more. But the younger generation of battle rappers that's young now ain't promoting good enough. And a lot of people saying that's URL fault because URL ain't giving them the platform on YouTube. And that's that's a conversation for a different day because I don't even want to talk about that no more. How that's making battle rap fall a little bit. Cause you know what I'm saying? You got RBE, you got Chrome 23, you know, they still doing it. I mean, I'm paying for the app because I'm a battle rap fan. I want to watch these battles, man. But at the same time, I know that they ain't getting out to the homies down the street. They don't know what's going on. So when I get to talking about it, when I bring, be telling them to watch my YouTube channel for these videos, they be like, man, I, I watched your video, but it, it was sounding like Chinese because I don't know none of these people you talking about. I don't really know enough about this culture to really, really be able to get into it like that. And that comes from no promotion. I was promoting young up and coming artists trying to get their name out here, but I can't be doing it more than they doing it. It's their career. It ain't mine. I mean, it don't even help my platform. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, my platform was, was slowly dying because of me trying to promote people that don't even want to promote themselves, don't even want to come up and do interviews so that they can start talking to me and other people and trying to, you know what I'm saying? Oh, hip hop real ain't hollering at me, so I ain't about to do the interview. Come on, y'all got to think outside of the box, man. You're going to be stuck in this box. Battle rap going to get stuck in this box forever. And I'm tired of it. I'm ready for battle rap to explode and be the next big thing that's out here for entertainment. The way that's going to happen is, you know, y'all got to start respecting for one. Y'all got to start respecting the ones that's in here still holding it down for y'all. Because when people like Tay Rock get out of here and they gone, it's going to slowly but surely die even more because ain't nobody here to replace them. You know, when Jordan left, you had Kobe come in and he handled his business. You know what I'm saying? Um, when, when, when Kobe left, you had LeBron come in, hold it down, handle his business. When LeBron leave... When be about to do that? See what I'm saying? You got to always have somebody ready to take somebody's place in this game, man. And I don't even know if it's a Wimby in battle rap like that for when Tay Rock leave. You know what I'm saying? It's too volatile at the moment. I'm here to try to bring it back. Top Flo want to bring it back and, and put it on that, on that high scale again. But guess what? If y'all ain't paying attention to the goats in this, then y'all going to fall off. Or if y'all ain't giving him that recognition, he should have been champion of the year. He always been putting on. He doing more battles this year than ever. If he don't get champion of the year this year, that means either somebody had an outstanding, crazy um, unicorn type season. Or they just y'all just don't like Tay Rock and y'all just hating on that man. So I get it. He about to take a break, a long extended break for y'all to think about what y'all doing with battle rap and for y'all to think about how much y'all really, really need Tay Rock to keep this name rolling. He ain't the only one that's going to keep it rolling. I ain't saying that, but I am saying without Tay Rock, the, the, it's like a wheel fell off. You try driving that car with a wheel off of it, you're you going to be struggling. You're going to need a donut for real. And if you ain't got nobody that's even close enough to Tay Rock to be like a so-called donut wheel, then it's a wrap. Y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments. Like and subscribe. It's your boy T-Main. Right back at it. Right back in the basement for another day of this battle rap. 100. I'm gone. Four shots of Patron. Got me, got me in the zone. Your girl keep asking me to fly. I'll leave me alone. You need to mind your business.